know them Cause he was an angel One taught me love one time, Hi guys, welcome to Nadifa Says. I have Mrs. Sheila over here. Hi! <laughs> She's a little bit shy, okay? I'm very shy. A little bit. But a I lot of bit! <laughs> but I don't really notice it when you're shy, to be honest. Yeah, I hide it very well. <laughs> you hide it very well. And we're gonna be doing makeup. Now, I don't want anybody to come for my neck because I don't know how to do makeup. Like, I don't ever touch my brows first and foremost. <laughs> We're no professionals. Yes. So, so thank you. Next. Next. <laughs> Everyone has their own different ways that they do makeup. So, yeah. This is just our way. Deal with it. Right? So, we're going to be talking about just our New Year's goal, revolution, whatever you want to call it, while we're getting ready. So, it's like a get ready with us. I don't know how you start. Like, do you prime your face? Yes. Like, I always use primer, and this is my go to. Thanks, Cassidy. Um, this is the Lancome Le Base Pro Primer. It looks like that. And what I love about it is because I have such big ass pores. <laughs> I love that this blends everything together. Um, because your girl's got flaws, but in 2019, we're gonna own them. So yes. here we go. Amen to that. <laughs> your homegirl out here with the broke broke. <laughs> It's called Cover by God Knows. But <laughs> <laughs> there's no hole. And why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what this does to my <laughs> What is it? Is it Cover? No, this is Cover FX, you guys. All I know is Cover X Cover XX. Uh, Cover FX is really good. Well, there you you have it. Okay, it's good. But when yeah, I was yeah, putting yeah. it, cover FX. Oh yeah, girl. When when I bought it, all I knew was that when I watch YouTube videos, people use a primer first, and I'm like, I need me a cheap primer, and this is what I went for. So I'm applied in primer. Yeah. <laughs> I know. We don't care what brand. We, don't we just care. made it to work well. Next, I'm using Lancome Tinted Doll Ultra Wear. I'm the lightest shade possible. Um. <laughs> Honey bunny. Your girl is super fair and, and white. she's a snow bunny. Yep. That's that's my name. <laughs> For those curious, it's um, 090 Ivory Neutral. And I'm using the darkest shade possible. <laughs> <laughs> Completely <laughs> opposite, but... Well, it's not the darkest, but um, NARS, the, their foundation is like to die for. I was using Urban Decay and I hated it. Now full coverage and it was just not doing what I needed it to do. And oily skin and like I have a bit, like I have oily and dry skin and it was just like not working out. But this is good. So I'm going to use that. Okay, so uh, what are some of your goals for 2019? Okay, my goals for 2019 is to actually um, hopefully be done with school. Mm -hmm. You know, like I want to graduate even like if it's December of this year. Yeah. You know, if that if that's possible. We want to graduate. We want to graduate ASAP and get the heck out of the mm -hmm. school system. <laughs> what class? <laughs> yeah. What so, classes are you taking? Sociology, all sociology classes. I have um, one class, well, I have the self and society class. I have research methods to which I hate already. And then <laughs> I have a uh, domestic violence class and social class. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's the class we have together. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot we have class together. Um, I'm taking that social class class. Mm -hmm. And then um, I'm taking... Accounting too, which pray for me because oh your girl Lord. sucks at math. Oh Lord. Um, um, and then I'm taking capstone because I'm a senior and I oh have yeah, to take that. Yeah, seniors, we have to take that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and then I'm taking what's the fourth one? She's in her last year, by the way. Yeah, we're both majoring in sociology. Yes, I graduate um this coming fall, so like next yeah December. By the way, I'm using. Fenty Beauty brush. Mm. So this brush is like awesome. I th yeah, I think this is It Cosmetics. It's like a flat top brush. Um, I do it just because I feel like flat top brushes when I dab, like it just makes full, more full coverage. So that's what I'm using. Yeah. 
see with nars only like a few pumps and then nothing oh and it looks so porcelain Ooh. i was gonna use this um what's it called this pro <laughs> concealer to cover my dark spot but as you can see you don't have to worry about that in 2019 with nars Ooh. we embrace speaking of embracing this 2019 um, I feel like it's something everyone always says is like, I'm going to embrace my flaws yeah. and whatever. But I feel like now that I'm a senior in college and I'm going to be graduating this coming year in 2019, like, and I'm going to be an actual adult, like, oh, I don't yeah. have any excuses. Like, I have to move on with my life and start chasing, chasing after those dreams. Um, I feel like because of that, like, it's going to be really easy to get insecure. It's oh, going to yeah. be really easy to, like, second-guess yourself and your path and yourself. And I've struggled with self-esteem for my whole life, and that's just kind of something that I've always tried to overcome. But um, in 2019, I feel like I finally have the tools that I need to really kind of um, overcome those insecurities and flaws and just kind of be more confident with myself. Yeah, I do struggle a lot i do have a lot of insecurities that i'm like slowly working on but mm -hmm. it's taking ages to work on one insecurity and people are like i don't even notice it right it's not even a big deal mm -hmm. like it's the biggest deal in like to me yeah <laughs> you know? exactly so we hard. always like we always notice like notice what other people don't about ourselves and um yeah it just it's uh it, it gets very overwhelming sometimes. Yeah. And sometimes that's really all you see are your insecurities. And, you know, it may not be a big deal to other people, but to us, it's sometimes like our whole world. It's like what we worry about. Yeah. And I feel like especially in today's society, like women are expected to look a certain way, to be a certain yeah. way, be feminine, be uh, passive. Like, and now that we're all kind of speaking out and we're backing each other, like, I feel like it's just the time to be confident in yourself and like quit like I really want to quit making excuses for myself and explaining myself like that's what I said that's what I did that's what I believe like this is what I'm doing and I'm not justifying it because yeah. you don't need an explanation it's my for advice. everything yeah no you don't yeah what did you use for concealer oh yes okay <laughs> so my go-to concealer is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again I'm the fairest shade possible I think actually I think they started um they expanded their shade range, I think. Oh, really? Um, but I'm shade fair, obviously. <laughs> and um, this, what I love about this is it's full coverage, and it uh, doesn't transfer, and it doesn't crease. So I love that. And um, I don't know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't crease. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't. Um, it doesn't like like underneath your eyes. It doesn't like. Um, make those like little wrinkly line yeah. things yeah anyways don't know how else to describe it um and it's supposed to like help contour like if you wanted to get a shade darker like mm -hmm. you know contour with it i guess yeah i don't know i dig it i really like it i'm using the fenty beauty um concealer in truffle shade truffle whatever it's what if it's truffle you and your fenty i and love then, it and then i use i'm you i'm gonna be using this um espresso for um also from fenty for contouring and i don't know how to contour but yeah we're gonna give it a shot okay <laughs> we're gonna try to get this nose you know I, like i i don't ever like contour i'm just doing it for this video to be honest because i like everything the way that it is <laughs> i'm like i'm Aww. it's not that deep like my nose is big but that's what I strive to have. Like, it's it's just that really not that serious. So I try to minimize using a lot of um, like different things on my face. Like I usually just go with foundation, eyeliner. Like as you can see, I didn't even touch my eyebrows. And trust me, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just gonna brush it off <laughs> <laughs> and then, like leave it as that because Thank I you next. yes <laughs> because I don't know what what to do with them like i think they're perfect like i want to know learn how to play with my eyebrows like everybody else does but i swear it's a struggle and it's not something that i want to stress over so i'm not trying to learn asap yeah but this is what i do so i have one line over here one line over here in my nose my chin maybe if that's what normal people do but i never said that i was normal so you can't come from my name <laughs>
Um, I use this RCMA translucent powder to set all of my concealer and my under eyes and stuff. Um, I've used it for a while and I really like it. Um, it's just this no color powder makeup. I get it on Beautylish. Um, I really like it. Seems to work for me. The only thing that I don't love is sometimes it looks like really powdery. So I really try to like fix that with like setting spray or something. But it's nice. It really helps um, my makeup stay on long, like longer lasting, I guess. Um, especially because I do have oily skin, especially in the summer. Like it could just like melt off my face. So I really need that setting powder in my life. So that's what I just use. I honestly don't even use setting powder like that. Like, I don't know. I just, is it because I don't know how to use it or because I don't need it? I don't know. I just, that what? is, isn't that setting powder? That's setting powder, but I never used it. What's the, it just like helps set. Yeah, it's cover, it? cover. FX? Cover FX. I use it like one time. Um. You know what you're doing and I don't know. No. I pretend like I do, but I don't. Yes, you do. Um. I'm like, I'm just gonna put like a little bit under my eyes. I'm excited that you're using it though. I'm gonna bake this face. <laughs> the only bake that I could do in my life. <laughs> That's awesome. Anything else? Not me. All right. Okay. Basically, I'm putting this all over my face. Um, next, I'm gonna do bronzer, and I kind of mix a bunch of stuff. Um, while this is setting, I'm gonna dive into my Don't Be Afraid to Dazzle palette, the duo from Tarte. Um, as you could tell, it is used, and I wish they continued this because I love it so much. Because I have fair skin, it is so hard to find bronzers that don't look orangey on me, and this cool tone bronzer and highlight duo just was perfect for my skin tone. It wasn't too dark, it was just awesome, uh, but they uh, discontinued. It was like a holiday special thingy, so. Oh. And I'm gonna duck face. And I'm not gonna use whatever she's using because I don't know what it is. <laughs> so I'm gonna like clean up this powder off my face because it, it's about to burn. I'm done baking. And it's about to burn. That's yeah. not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. <laughs> don't do this at home. You're gonna kids. go to the hospital. You're gonna be like, I baked. Don't do I this at home, it. kids. This is not for you. <laughs> We do uh, not love a burning face. No, we don't. So that's why we're going to clean it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. It, oh my gosh, your skin looks just so good. Stop flirting with me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Stop it. Took me out on a date first. Oh, I did. I know, she did. She took me to have Ethiopian food for the first time ever. And I didn't even upload that because I wasn't too sure like how you was gonna feel about that. I know, that. you guys, this is like my first like actual YouTube video that I've been in. Um, and I told her, it makes me nervous because like versus Instagram photos or Snapchat, like people only see what you want them to see. Yeah. So with YouTube videos, it's kind of, it's a lot more candid. And uh, it just made me nervous because it's like you can't really, you can't put a filter on that. Um, yeah. Can't face tune it, yeah. um, so it's hard to do all of that, and it's a lot of work. So it's right. like, so that's why I was like, man, um, I'm gonna give her some time. Like, I, I, I didn't even bother asking because this was like November 12th, mm -hmm. and right. then I'm like, I'm not even gonna ask her because, like, I know I had that issue too, but mm -hmm. I just I worked on my issue before I got on an international platform <laughs> to do any of this craziness. So I was like, I'm gonna let her get ready. Yeah. But um but I know with uh with makeup she's like you know she's good with makeup. She's you know she she's Way really good. Nice. So I was like I'm gonna have to ask her for that makeup and see if she wants to do it. Yeah. No I was I was really happy that um you were one just like so completely understanding but two just like so open to like um like Stop my feelings, it. you know. You're, Stop it. You're just. She's such a kind person, you guys. I try. She's the bomb. Okay. Well, but here we are. Yeah. New Year, and, and yeah, I told myself how, I was like, how we met. We met. Oh yeah, we met. Where did we met? We. I took we on it. I like. I saw her at Walmart, and I'm like, shoddy. You know, you want to go on a date? <laughs> <laughs> she, was like, she was like, yeah. You know, she was all for it. Yeah. It did not go that way. Well, 
At first, well, you want to tell them how we met? Um, I'm trying to think of when we at first actually started talking. We met this last year um, in our fall semester, and we both had the same class together, and she sat on the other side of the room and in one class, and in the other class she sat behind me, and we didn't really talk much. Mm -mm. We mostly, our classes are really discussion based and we're both sociology majors. Um, and so we study race, class, and gender a lot. And um, since we're all really passionate about those three topics, we really just kind of, um, we just openly discuss them in class with our professor and we just kind of go off each other and really just kind of you know, share our feelings and stuff. And so we just kind of shared our feelings a lot and our opinions a lot on things. And we all kind of stand the same way on a lot of yeah. different issues. And so from that, like, we just kind of started talking, I think, before class. Yes. A lot, because I would show up early sometimes. Um, and you too, oftentimes, I think. Yeah, for a while. <laughs> for for some time. And then, yeah. Like, and then i would be on my Nadifa time, you know? My yeah. Mom. And then, yeah. Yep. But, but um, like if I have a question, like let's say we're like having, I think the first time I probably start we started talking is because I asked you something. I was like, girl, yeah, do we have an exam? Do we have yeah, a test today? Right, because we never I, knew, we and we see. all like, I, I think we all just kind of gave up and just stopped. We just kind of gave up, and we, yeah, and when, when like when we all started talking, we just kind of like. <laughs> We all like joked a lot in that we class. We joked a lot. Yeah, we joked a lot in that class, and the professor is just so amazing. Like, oh yes, yeah, she is. dealing with all of it. We have her again this semester. <laughs> Brush is dropping. Um, this semester in one of our classes, and um, so I'm excited for that. But we just started talking more and um, hung out a couple times. Mm -hmm. um, but I thought she was pretty cool, so. I also, I confession cool. time, I also was super intimidated. I was so intimidated, you guys. How? Like, because you're, like, so flawless. You guys, <laughs> she has the coolest fashion sense ever. Like, so awesome. You think so? And she would show up, like, looking so freaking bougie and hot as hell. And I was like, there's no way that she's going to like me. So, oh my that gosh, was my, and like, first that impression. was like the same thing for me because like that's even the reason why I sat all the way in the back, like <laughs> all the way in the other corner by myself because like when I had other classes with other people, it was just kind of like not welcoming and it was just um, like way too much going on and I felt like I was, I just, I like, I'm like, cause like I, I don't fit in in a lot of places. So I just thought that wasn't my place and I'm like, I, I just, I'm not gonna like be the first one to start a conversation because whenever I do, it always go left. But like one day I just came in and I was like, just like, and I'm like, but see, and I hated college because you know, when you go to college, you're like, this is where you're gonna meet your best friend, your, you know, your bridesmaids or you, you know, your yes. husband yeah. and all that stuff. That's and I'm true. like, it's so different. Like I'm not, I don't even have one friend and I'm like on my third year of college. Mm -hmm. So then it makes um, you feel like you're doing something wrong. Yeah. And I'm like, what a, but then university center is basically where you go, take your classes and go home. That's why it is there for. So it was, it's kind of like hard for people to meet up after class because people are like, Oh, I got work in an hour. And I'm like, okay. You know? And I'm like, yeah, I work work too so but yeah we we kind of like started talking and now we're planning on going on a trip yes which i didn't even talk to you guys about because i don't think i can go because homegirl is like on a negative zero 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 so Ew, this, boo. this yes, is what man. this is what we're gonna be doing in 2019 we're gonna work on our bank account <laughs> Right? We're going to try to bring, we're going to try to put the zeros all the way in the back and like a big fat yeah huge number whether it's a one or two in the middle yeah. so because you know college students are not rich you know we this is why that's why we're going to college and it's right. like you got bills to pay and mm -hmm. sometimes when your friends have trips and you feel like you know you you force yourself to go and you go spend all that money that you don't have end up using your your credit card for that it's just like i'm not trying to put myself in that situation like if i do because it's in march but if i do have a, a few bucks and like i will go but if i don't then i'll just i'm not gonna like you know i'm the same way <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna like force it 
because eventually if you think about it when we all graduate mm -hmm. and we like you know we'll start making money like this we'll, this will be full time we'll and be full, and we'll be taking these trips any time of the day if we want to because we have it like that you know right. we have enough money to travel and not worry about mm -hmm. this and that so um it's no rush for me right. like i'm mean, even though i was rushing i'm like yeah it's good i need that break mm -hmm. i really do need it we all need it but it's just well like, another thing too like with the trip um is that sometimes it's so exhausting traveling on those oh, breaks yeah. too so like you need a vacation from your vacation <laughs> and um especially if like we're driving too i feel like that's yeah you know but oh, like yeah. i'm really trying to save this uh this year especially because i graduate mm -hmm. In December, and I really like want to go back. I used well. I studied abroad in Rome, Italy, um, this last spring semester, and so um, I really want to go back to Europe or someplace and visit. So I'm really trying to save, and I kind of want to make it like a graduation present to myself. Oh, yeah. Okay. And my aunt kind of mentioned too wanting to go somewhere together at some point, and so I really want to go. I think that would be nice. So if that means like saving myself, you know, a trip to it was Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. Yeah. Then so be it, because I miss Rome so bad. <laughs> um, this is Milani in the shade Romantic Rose, and it's really like neutral tone. It's really pretty. Oh. Yeah, Milani's a good, like, cheaper brand and, like, good quality product. I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette, okay, from Color Story. Is that what it is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, makeup. Yeah. Um, it's it's a unicorn, born to be a unicorn palette, and mm -hmm. I am excited to use it because of the colors. I bought this at, at um, what's it called, Burlington for, like, six dollars i think look at the colors y'all they're so pigmented they're so pretty they're so pretty um i use this for what what did i use i think i used these pink whatever last I time i how fun they are but i'm gonna use this colors over here like i'm gonna use this this and then this color right here guys i just used the same highlighter from this duo um and then I really like to layer highlighters, so I'm going to use this one from Milani as well. It's called Strobe Light, um, just to give a little bit extra on there, because we know that an extra just poked my eye out. Um, and then for eyeshadow, I'm going to reach for this Tarte Holiday Palette. I think it was a couple years ago that it came out. Um, oh. Yeah, and it has a lot of neutral <gasps> shades. Yes. Love yeah. all the colors. Yeah super pretty um decently pink pigmented um i wouldn't say it's like as like good very, as yeah yeah i wouldn't say it's the best out there but it's definitely um it's definitely one of my go-to's i really like tarte as you could tell um as a brand um one i think their products just it's not a reason to buy a product but their products are super cute um they're really <laughs> positive about like beauty and diversity and stuff like that i know they've recently um came out with a bunch of more shades um, to add to their foundations. And I know they try to be as like, not organic, and but like kind of like as natural as possible with like Amazonian clay and stuff. Um, so yeah, I really kind of, kind of love that brand. It's one of my favorites. And as for brushes, no idea what it's called. What, well, these brushes, I bought them from Amazon. It was like a whole pocket, like 32 set for like $7 or 10 They're cute. So I fell in love with them and like I just bought it. I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. I have We're no just going to jump right in. We're going to blend the shade Have We Met and Muse together, which are two kind of um, middle neutral shades, these two together. Um, kind of more pinker tone and brown, and I'm just gonna go along. <laughs> like staring. I'm just gonna go along the lid, like this area right here, um, and just blend that out. Okay. I love that color. I'm, I'm gonna. Like I dig it. 